Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Psych Review. And today is going to be a very special occasion because what I have with me right now is the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. It's very unique in the sense that it targets a lot of people demand right now, which is to go for lightweight and mirrorless. So with this, it's going to meet your need. Let's see what's inside the box. You first receive a welcome card that states a very handsome dude. <laughs> and thank you for selecting the Black Magic design for your work. And it does come with a SD card. It's the SD card that has the software and the manual. It's a 4 gig card. Next we have the DaVinci Resolve 15. It's something like the... It's comparable to the Premiere Pro or the Apple version, the Final Cut. And you have... a product activation key followed by another SD card with the software and next you have the cable with multiple adapters so that it represents the different continent you're going to be visiting all you have to do is clip on do take note that the pin is different. The pin uses a very, very special kind that will plug onto your camera. You have the first hand look of the Black Magic camera. really really light it it feels similar to the uh, Canon 5D4 uh, based on my palm size because usually at the end of my pinky it will just rest perfectly uh, at the end notch it uses a Canon LPE6 battery. Now that this is not really can Canon version. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. It looks it looks like a game gear. I, I, I guess you guys know what a game gear is. Otherwise, that's how a game gear looks like. And yeah, it's that the screen is so big. It gives you a very retro, retro feeling, and the buttons are all placed in a very ergonomic way, where your right thumbs can just control everything. Even for the top button, it's just controllable, moving either your thumb or your index finger. Right? This is so much lighter. Some functions, the basic functions, is the video video button that you see over here you have the selfie button uh, you can do a high frame rate you can control your ISO white balance which is all within a reach of your finger you can also zoom in etc so let's try on with a lens. Right now, what I have is a Micro Four Third 25mm lens. This camera uses a Micro Four Third sensor. So it's similar to the GH5. Uh, so come, let's match on with the 25mm lens.
you do take note that over at the front you do have one two stereo speaker that allows you to do a recording according to the manufacturer the audio captured by the Blackmagic pocket camera is going to be fantastic let's switch on the camera I can have myself in the screen the startup time is about 2 seconds uh, it's not that long over here is the autofocus function and let's shoot yeah I think I have him on picture let's see yes yeah he's on YouTube for <coughs> alright so for the user interface and for anyone who's actually looking to getting a new camera uh, especially if you are a planning to be a videographer uh, this camera is awesome first reason why is you look at the screen you look at the screen it's 5 inches wide so literally if you're going to get a DSLR a Canon, Nikon or even a Panasonic which also uses a micro four third sensor the screen of the camera is about 3.5 inch average just by getting this camera you, you already reduce the cost of getting an additional screen which allows, allows you to save cost and on top of that this has a 1080p display so it's really not that bad you don't need a 4k resolution when you're doing a video recording because the focus will be on the story itself and how you plan to take your shot so with this big screen itself it allows you to it allows you to capture the the effect that you want on top of that uh, you have other functions of the microphone the headphone jack you have the HDMI port of course this camera does not re uh, reduce the functions or actually stops you from having an external monitor you can actually plug this to a 50 inch television so that you can get a better view but you know you get what I mean and on top of that you have a constant power supply which have unlimited power and you don't have to worry about getting multiple batteries on top of that you have a USB-C uh, USB-C port uh, let me see if I can zoom in and show you okay you have a USB-C port over here that allows you to transfer the data out directly as you are recording pretty awesome function too the power supply over here you have a XLR microphone microphone jack uh, which is not something that you see in a normal camera you have the two hooks for you to put on the uh, right now the in thing is the Peak Design clip uh, this is not a product review or uh, product placement but yeah that's what I, I will actually do and let's come down to the functions for function wise at the top you will notice that there are additional three buttons so with these three buttons it allows you to have a shortcut let me just press the second button and you will see that the screen changes it's more like the white balance and of course with such a wide screen you have to fully utilize it that's why you have the touch screen function that allows you to do the auto focusing any other function you can be controlled everything through touch screen controlling the frame rate the shutter speed the aperture this is the white balance 
uh, you have the ISO that allows you to control uh, sorry this is the white balance this is I believe the timer and you have the battery voltage uh, itself in any case if you do want to you know you have a SD card and a CFAST card allocated inside uh, you can just switch around by pressing the screen itself it will automatically switch for you and the last but not least part you have the audio uh, audio bar at the bottom right so that you are able to notice if there's any peak uh, during your video processing another interesting part to take note is if you are doing the video recording you'll notice that the light here actually lights up so once this lights up it tells the user that you are in the process of recording function wise you have ProRes which is mainly used by the Apple side it allows you to record 4K at 41496 and 2160 you have Ultra HD at 3840 by 2160 and you have the regular HD uh, it allows you to do different kind of uh, recording the codec and the quality yeah. do take note there's this uh, 50k and 60k function as you can see on the screen itself it's uh, to allow you to you know do a quick adjustment in the case whereby right now in US Taiwan and Japan they are using 60 Hertz uh, and in Europe you are using 50 Hertz in Singapore we are using 50 Hertz which is the direct comparison of the PAL versus the NTSC so for us right now we are using 50 Hertz because in most part of Europe you are using the PAL version so if you are going to use the 60 Hertz uh, in a 50 Hertz frequency range you are going to get a lot of bending itself so doing this adjustment allows you to you know reduce the ugly side of the bending you can just swipe to toggle other functions uh, over here you have the function 1 2 3 which is located at the top and you can just choose it to toggle between focus uh, the white balance etc then over here this is for the screen this itself you can do the adjustment next you have uh, presets so that you can upload inside and of course LUT which is the in thing for a lot of videographer to reduce the time to in the, in the post processing mm. for memory wise uh, it uses a SD card and a CFAST card do take note the CFAST card is not included in the package similarly for the SD card I think SD card is I think the better option uh, it's more economical it's smaller uh, and literally this is one of the most awesome all-in-one package camera that you can get right now in the market uh, some interesting facts if you notice the port over here it's at the top and at the bottom part it's like the exhaust duct so you have the air intake coming from the top and exhaust from the bottom so just take note that if you're going to use your hand uh, it does feel a little bit warm uh, over prolonged usage so overall itself uh, it does feel fantastic let's put this camera out and see how well does it functions as an everyday usage.